Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk all things Canvas LMS. In case you're new here, my name is Lauren and I am the Canvas Queen. Today I'm so excited for this episode. It's something that I've been developing, creating, kind of going over ideas for a couple weeks now and I just can't wait to share it with you. We are going to be reviewing how teachers can use AI in the classroom and incorporate it also into Canvas LMS. Specifically, I'm gonna show you how you can use chat GPT, which is very popular right now among the internet. As always, if you would please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would greatly appreciate it so that way I can help other educators who may need Canvas LMS help. All right, let's get into it. Welcome to Chat GPT. I'm now going to show you the most common ways that you can use this AI in your classroom and then also how to kind of incorporate it into Canvas LMS. So the big one, of course, is lesson plan. I can say, write me a lesson plan of any kind. So what I like to do is I like to add the standard in. I think I'm actually gonna add more detail here. Writing prompts is very important for chat GPT to understand what do you want it to do. So I'm gonna say, write me a lesson plan that reviews the following standard. There we go. So the more specific you are, the better outcomes you're going to get from the AI. So then all I have to do is hit enter and it's going to start its magic. All right, so it's finished. It says we have a lesson plan applying Newton's third law to collision, which is perfect because this goes along with the standard that I had picked out. We have our materials needed. We even have time. So introduction, 10 minutes, a demonstration, 15 minutes. Uh, then we have a worksheet, 20 minutes, discussion, 15 minutes, conclusion, and so on. Now is the fun part. So instead of having to create everything for this lesson, I can now say create a worksheet for this lesson. And it will create a worksheet for me, which is amazing. So this really is going to cut down your workload. You can also simply, if you're using Canvas, you can copy and paste this into a Canvas assignment for students to complete. Then we can also see, you know, the discussion. I can ask it to do create, create discussion questions for the discussion portion of this lesson, and it's going to generate them, which is awesome. There you go. Lastly, we also have an assessment, right? So I can then go create a quiz, multiple choice questions that review this lesson. And then I'm going to hit enter and it is going to provide me with a quiz. Once it's done generating, I'm going to ask it to give me an answer key. So it's given me eight questions. So now I'm going to write create an answer key for this quiz enter there you go and now we have our answer key so i can simply within this entire page i have a lesson i have a worksheet i have a created discussion i have a created quiz and to easily implement this into any lms not just canvas all i would have to do is copy and paste the content right into the lms one of the best features about ChatGPT is that it saves everything. So everything that I've ever searched or given the AI a prompt to create has always been saved on this site over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you some things that are less common. So most common for a teacher is creating lesson plans, creating quizzes, but also, especially for Canvas, you can create HTML codes. Now I have created a code key that I will link in the description below for codes that do work with Canvas, but I'm gonna show you in case like you wanna try out something new or you can't remember or you can't access my wonderful code key, you can ask ChatGPT for the code. So I'm gonna click down here in the search bar again. I'm going to say, here's the prompt that I have decided on. 
I want an HTML code or codes for Canvas LMS HTML editor for vertical divisions because I'm trying to create different types of columns. So I'll hit this and then what it's going to do is generate these divisions. We're going to copy and paste it and see if it works. No, it didn't work. If it doesn't work, we can just keep clicking regenerate and we can try this out. But let's see what happens. Let's see if that works. Ah, and it worked. So that's awesome. So now I can put content over here that I want on the left side of the page. And then I can put content over here on the right side of the page. So just another thing that you can do for formatting in your Canvas course. All right, so another thing that you can do with that GPT as a teacher is you can have it create presentations for you. So lesson presentations. So I have a prompt here ready to go. Create a lesson a presentation for eighth grade science students learning about the following standards. So we're going to hit enter. All right, so now each paragraph could represent a Google slide or a PowerPoint slide. This time I was more specific. I said lesson PowerPoint presentation. So now it has given me all of the content and bullet points per slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to copy this over into a Google document. And it's really simple. So I just continue to go back and forth between chat GPT and copy and paste all of the content, which saves me so much time. The last example that I'm going to show you is probably my favorite, and it is replying to emails. Every teacher has experienced at some point an angry parent emailing them, maybe on a Sunday night to make it even more worse. And so you start to respond and bleed out all of your emotions into words, into your email. And what should you do? You should definitely allow yourself that therapy moment, but then allow ChatGPT to turn it around and make it more professional for you. Just to show you how cool this is too, um, I had initially... I didn't want to write an example of an inappropriate email, so I actually asked ChatGPT to write me one, which it did, and then it also explained to me why it was inappropriate. So I, instead of leaving that out of the video, I thought I would just include it because I think it's really cool and something ELA teachers could ask a student, hey, write an email and then ask ChatGPT if it's appropriate. That would be a really cool lesson, just saying. So I thought I would include that. But let's copy this email. So I wrote, I need help rewriting my email so that it is more professional. Write an email that is honest of how you feel and then tell ChatGPT to change it for you and make it more professional. So let's see what this says. I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to bring to your attention some concerns. This is way better than what it was before up here. Much more appropriate. So now I can copy and paste this into the email. Another wonderful example is I'm going to paste this response and then underneath it, I'm going to ask the AI to help me respond. There we go. All right, and it's going to respond to the email that was sent to me. And I can copy and paste this right into my email. And I'm done. I really hope you attempt to try to use ChatGPT in your classroom. I promise you it will cut down a lot of your workload as a teacher. You have so many responsibilities already. So use this thing as much as you possibly can. And if you have any other creative ways that you've been using ChatGPT in your classroom, I would love to hear it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. In my next video, I'm gonna show you some accessibility tools and AI that you can incorporate into Canvas LMS. And I can't wait for you guys to see that one. So until next time, see ya.